Oh, hi. Today we're looking at the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. My name is Noah. You're watching The Noise. So I've been doing this watch for a couple weeks now. The moment I put it on, I fell in love with it, and the more I wear it, the more I like it. So Hamilton is a cool brand, there's lots of heritage, and these watches draw directly from military-issued field watches that Hamilton made for the US military for decades. I love these original military-issued pieces. They have a ton of character. A lot of them have these beautiful domed plexi crystals. There's definitely stories behind a lot of these watches, as a lot of them have seen active military duty. However, I find the vintage size touch too small for me. This one is 33 millimeters, which is just too small for my wrist. The new pieces are 38 millimeters, which I also would normally find too small. But something about this watch, it just has a fantastic wrist presence. And I actually love the size. For some reason, 38 millimeters is perfect for me with this watch. The case proportions are just excellent. It sits on the wrist very nicely and, like I said, has a ton of presence without being too invasive. So if you have a bigger wrist, don't be turned off by the 38 millimeter size. And if you have a smaller wrist, 38 millimeters will fit you no problem. Hamilton has just released three new versions of the Khaki Field Mechanical. They've updated the movement to an 80 hour power reserve. There is the classic black dial with matte steel finish. There's a white dial and then there's this one which they call an Earth PVD, and it's kind of got a greenish-brown drab dial. They really nailed the color combo. Uh, the strap is a drab green that works perfectly with the case and the dial. It's super comfy, it's got a matching PVD buckle. Knocked it out of the park with this. Color-wise, the Earth PVD is probably the furthest from those original military issued pieces which had a black dial and a matte steel finish but it has a very tactical stealthy feel which feels very military um, it's just badass and cool and i love it if you like to swap straps a lot the black dial and steel is probably more versatile this earth pvd is a little more specific i found some cool strap combos but the color and finish doesn't go with everything but it is hard to beat this leather NATO that it comes with. I love that it has drilled lugs, makes strap changing a breeze. It's a hand wound movement, lovely to wind, hackable for accurate time setting. The faux patina on the markers in the hands is tastefully done, it really works nicely. 50 meter water resistance. So my one big complaint is that I would have liked to have seen a screw down crown on this. The vintage military issued pieces did not have a screw down crown, so I guess they're keeping in line with that. But this watch feels very rugged, feels like you could go anywhere, do anything with it. And a screw down crown for me would have completed that story. Because I'm hard on my stuff, I enjoy knowing that that crown is safely screwed on there. Uh, and I would pay extra for that on this watch. But that is one of the other nice things about this watch. You're getting a cool Swiss made watch with a ton of heritage around the $500 price point. You can't go wrong. I would recommend this watch to anybody. If you're a one watch type of person, it's a great candidate for that. The only caveat being it's not very dressy. It's really strongly maintains its military roots. I think it looks best on a NATO, which is pretty casual. But you know what? If you wanna rock that with the tuxedo, go ahead and send me a picture, I wanna see it. If you're a collector, it's a no brainer. If you're just getting into mechanical watches, this is a great starting point. Overall, just a very, satisfying piece on the wrist. I really like wearing this watch. I wanna hear from you, leave some comments, send me some messages if you own this watch. What do you like about it? Is there anything you don't like about it? What are your favorite strap combos? That's what I really wanna know. If you're thinking about getting this watch, uh, which version is for you and why, I wanna hear it all, let me know. My name is Noah, thank you for watching The Noise. Get green gimmicks, you lames. Keep your pristine image. Test the kid. Risky business, I ain't.
plane, I'm back rocking big team emblems. Looking flyer than them 16 pictures, every 16's vintage. In an instant, I'm still running hard.